Hey everybody, Gaijin Guinea Pig, and yes, I'm up in your corner because we are gonna start this thing right away without any shenanigans. And I've already got the video queued up to 14 minute mark, I wanna say, because this Capcom Spotlight, they got it 41 minutes, but it's really only 25, 26 minutes. So I cut out the whole first portion of it where it's just these four people who I don't know talking about games with opinions that I don't care about, if I'm being quite frank. And yes, I, I understand the irony of you maybe watching this and wondering why you care about my opinion, but hey, that's just the way the world works. It's wacky. So Capcom, I love them. I'm so glad that they, they have enough going on to sort of warrant a spotlight. Resident Evil 6, or not Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 4 Remake, it's coming. I've already pre-ordered it, so done deal. I'm excited. Street Fighter 6, that's where I got the 6 from. Very excited for that as well. Not a Monster Hunter guy, I don't know if they're going to talk about anything Monster Hunter related, but I'm expecting RE4 and Street Fighter 6, and that's not too bad if you ask me. Although, I do think they need to chill a little bit with all the RE4 stuff. The release date is right around the corner, and it's enough already. Quit showing me more of that game, please. Okay, let's get into it. Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome to Capcom Sorry. Spotlight, where we'll provide updates on our upcoming games. Stay tuned until the end to hear the latest on all of Capcom's new titles. Right. Without any further delay, here's the first game. Whoa. Oh, Mega Man Battle Network. Okay. Never played these games. Mega Man Battle Network series are coming to Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Steam. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection launches April right. 14th. Someone somewhere is stoked over that. Lan and his net navy Mega Man.exe work together to solve countless cyber crimes in the real world as well as the interconnected online cyber world. Add battle chips to your chip folder to use in combat hmm. as you battle viruses on the net. Select yeah. multiple chips of the same type and code each turn to Never create it. powerful combinations. We seem to be getting a message from director Masakazu Iguchi, a.k.a. Just Mr. In. Famous. Battle routine, set, execute. <laughs> Whoa. Hello, everyone. It's Mr. Famous. Right. I'm excited to share the latest Battle Network news with you all. Committed to the role. First, I respect that. Check out this video. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of cards. Not a huge fan of the art style of this particular iteration of Mega Man. Looks like he's wearing like a skin tight bodysuit. Hmm. And it looks like a Yu Gi Oh! Animation Mega style. Man Battle Network Legacy Collection includes all 499 patch cards from Battle Network 4 onward that were available only in Japan as physical cards. In Battle Network 4, 5, and 6, players can enable or disable patch cards. Hmm. Buster Max mode multiplies the Mega Buster. <laughs> Sounds like an insult from like the late 90s. You're a buster to the max, bro. You can turn this feature on or off at any time during the story, based on how you want to play. And don't worry, Buster Max mode is automatically turned off for online net battling. That's Thank all God. I have for you today. I've been Mr. Famous. Mr. Famous, you're too cool. Thanks for stopping Mega Man by. Battle Network Legacy Collection includes over 1,000 illustrations and 188 music tracks to enjoy in the gallery. With online play, this is just doing absolutely nothing to for me. Battle chips and net battle too. Pre-orders are available now. But if you're stoked for it, then I'm stoked Collection for you. Brings all 10 mainline games to Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Steam. 
Volume 1 and Volume 2 will also be available. That's a launch. lot of games. Starting March 21st, the English version of Mega Man NT Warrior will be available to watch for free. Check the official website for more information. I haven't even heard of that. Huh. Here we go. A new era of fighting games is upon us. Here we go. Salivating. Street Fighter 6 launches June 2nd, 2023. Zingy, this Cammy. is the latest edition of oh, a yeah. series that redefined the genre. Lily. Everyone looks so freaking good. Of genre defining battles take place. Street Fighter 6 includes World Tour, an immersive single player story except and Battle Hub. Those character models social space for obvious reasons. Of arcades. There are a number of new ways but as long to as play it's fun. beyond just fighting. Today we'll introduce the final color commentator included in the game. Okay. Please that enjoy this video. Here comes a new. Oh, Yoroshiku Naishimas. Oh. Ikoi, this name. Nice. I like her voice. It's pleasant. It feels like anime commentary, which speaks to me. I like it. Like, I feel like it doesn't match, per se. But at the same time, I love the uniqueness of it. Yeah, that speaks to my anime sensibilities. Shit. I'm getting that regardless. That's a pre-order. Japanese actress Hikaru Takahashi is joining the fray, bringing our lineup of play-by-play -play and color commentators to a total of eight. Real-time commentary matches the in-game action and brings the competitive thrill and excitement straight to your home. Subtitles for real-time commentary. I'm, I'm keen to check out this feature. Languages. Kind of see how maybe redundant it gets. If they say the same stuff too often. We're turning that off. Street Fighter 6 but it launches could be cool. on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, hmm. and Steam on June 2nd, 2023. Done deal. Pre-orders are now available along with a limited number of pre-order bonuses. See the official website for details. We'll Limiting have more Street Fighter 6 updates at a later date. Limiting the pre-order bonuses. Whew, they know how to get you. Pro Tour 2023 invites players around the world to compete to be the best. I'm not good enough to be a part of this. We're also proud to announce the 2023 season will feature Street Fighter 6. To celebrate the game's release, there will be a special prize package this season. The first place winner of Capcom Cup will receive one million dollars. The total prize pool for the season Oof. will be over two million dollars. That is a dollars. hell of a prize. Next, we'd like to share some exciting Capcom news. Oh. Capcom celebrates its 40th anniversary oh. this June. I'm excited seeing the As classics. Part of the celebration, we're opening a digital theme park called Capcom Town. Okay. We're planning to construct a digital museum and other buildings. The grand opening is June 12th, 2023. Uh, all right. Please see this link for the latest. What? What does it mean? Maybe, maybe you can play like old a school Capcom games. ID account is required to play Resident Evil RE Verse. Exo Primal and use the online. Let me tell you, RE Verse is not worth your time. That game is straight trash. 
It's not Capcom. With other Capcom nah. services and they just put the Capcom logo Capcom over it, Spotlight. and it's some other You'll developer. It's compatible with trash. ID soon. Register now for Capcom ID. Futuristic exosuits and dinosaurs class in Exoprimal. Forgot all about this game, for being honest. In this team-based action game, players suit up as exo-fighters who work for the IBS Corporation. Use a variety of unique exosuits and rigs to fit your playstyle and work with teammates to combat hordes of dinosaurs. Again, something about this survival. is not take a look at the latest clicking. Trigger. We have some surprises Remain. in store, so be sure to watch to the end. In every war game, Ace oh, really online only. back three years into the past, back to 2040, right before the Stradivader fails. That Stradivader. <laughs> this is no random outbreak. Leviathan is intentionally summoning them as cannon fodder for the war game. But why? Why repeat the same day over and over? Chief? Literally everyone has a different accent. Three years ago. One of the first outbreaks. Never found out more than that. You know how the Chief network Haruka was. Lorenzo. She's alive. What? In the island. Is that my video or their video? In the past. Hmm. Such a and a mass game. Mechs and robots. I mean, mechs and dinosaurs. Uh... I mean. I'd love to play a demo, but that's the best I can do with this. Hmm. Still handsome. Oh. Ready. Mm -hmm. Spider Man. Yeah, Lorenzo's name is Fully Star. Yeah. Another Exo Fighter recruit, right? Welcome to Ibius. Well, a beta, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not even lukewarm with this. Good lord, look at all the nickel and diming they're doing here. This is giving me Anthem vibes. It's gonna be dead in no time. What did you think? We had a lot of boring. new info, including the release date. Let's go over it in detail. And silly to me. Exo Primal <laughs> launches on July 14th. Before that, we'll be holding an open beta test. In addition to the eight exosuits we've previously introduced, the two new suits in today's trailer will also be playable in the open beta test. Experience the power of each exosuit for yourself as your team faces off against a wall of dinosaurs in Dino Survival, the game's main mode. Participants in the open beta test who fill out a survey will also receive an IBS metal charm that can be used in the full game. Please visit wow. the official site for beta test timing, content, and bonus item info. Can't wait to pay for a premium pass now and unlock like 30 different charms. Survival pass reward system. <laughs> Get out of here. As players acquire experience points in the survival pass, their survival <clears throat> pass level goes up, and they earn rewards separate from player and suit levels. A stamp, bro. Like, come on. We know how this goes. And a paid premium tier. 
Purchasing the premium tier unlocks access to special rewards, including 19 exosuit skins and 10 weapon skins. Here are some of the rewards. The Deluxe Edition includes the Survival Pass Season 1 Premium Tier as an added limited time bonus. No. Exo Primal launches July 14th, 2023. Pre order bonuses are also available. Please see the official site for details on bonus items and the game. The latest Exo Primal news can be found on the official website and social media. We'll have more for you soon. We look forward to seeing you in yeah, the open beta test. I get it. Your powers of the dead to uncover the truth about hmm. your death. I'm intrigued by this one. Ace Ghost Attorney Street, Creator. The classic mystery game from Ace <laughs> Attorney Creator Shu Takumi is being reborn. The Never knew about it before. June 30th, 2023. One night in a dark corner of the city, a man named Sissel is shot and killed. He reawakens as a soul and realizes he's lost his memory and his life. Who was I? Hmm. Who killed me? And why did I have to die? These are the mysteries he's trying to solve with the powers of the dead. Sizzle has two basic abilities, possessing objects in the ghost world and then tricking them in the real world. A hitman eh? is after the red-headed target, Lin. Use the powers of the dead to uh -oh. get her out of wild There's a time meter on the right. The key to changing fate is possessing and tricking all sorts of objects. Sissel will face death in many forms. Use the powers of the dead to go back four minutes before someone's death. Hmm. Changing their fate will change the story. And that story must be linked in some way to the mystery of Sissel's death. This board includes updated high-res graphics, increased frame rates, and an optimized user It's interface. intriguing. It feels fairly unique to me. Check out the new challenges feature. I doubt you I'll get it. It's not really my thing, but certain conditions. it is interesting. In addition, all 37 tracks from the game have new versions. You can switch between the original and new versions as you play. Eh? Hello, everyone. I'm Shu Takumi, the writer and director of the stylish Ghost fella game. We're thrilled to share the release date with you all. I'm incredibly excited to revisit Ghost Trick. We had Yasumasa Kitagawa from the great Ace Attorney series handle the music. Mm -hmm. He did incredible work remastering the original songs to match the new graphics. We've also added original music. I don't think I'd ever even Masakazu heard of the original. Sugimori like, when did that come out? The new version of the game. I hope you enjoy these new songs. The story of lost lives and lost memory all in a single night. Ghost Trick will be reborn in high resolution with new music on June 30th, 2023. For Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. Pre-orders are now available. Check out the official website for information about the pre-order bonus. Please stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you, Takami-san. Happy for you. Time to awaken your hunting okay, there's more rise more info. Platforms. 
Oh, it's coming Monster to more Hunter platforms. Rise is now available for Xbox Series I X see. and Xbox Series S. Xbox One, Windows, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation 4. I wonder if there's any kind of upgrade for these like video with information about more the powerful consoles. This is our outpost, El Gano. Yeah. So, nothing we haven't seen before with all the Nintendo Switch stuff. Monster Hunter Rise, but... You know, gotta get the other people, the other console owners and PC people hyped up. Pre-order now, yeah. Oh, little Shiba, you know. Yeah, I've only played the demo for Monster Hunter Rise. And Monster Hunter Combat's just not my thing. The massive expansion Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be released for these platforms on April 28th, 2023. Mm-hmm. You can look forward to a host of new features, including new monsters, locales, and combat mechanics, in addition to memorable new characters and storylines. The expansion includes the free title updates up to free title update 3, giving you instant access to chaotic Gormagala and other powerful monsters. We'll have information about future updates at a later date. Hmm. Free title updates are also available for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak for Nintendo Switch oh, and Steam. Still getting updated. That's a, that's cool for people that are into this. We will host a Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak digital event in April to share the latest information about the next oh. free title update 5. Love to see the support. <sighs> Moving on to our next topic. We have news about the Resident Evil series. I love it. Okay, the series. Nani? Oh no, is this another series on Netflix? The first one was horrible. Like, really boring. I don't care if you show me, Chris. I'm not gonna get pumped. This is an evil death island. Okay, Jill. I might get excited about that. We're excited to share this new preview with you all. Uh -huh. You may have noticed Jill Valentine made a brief appearance at the end of the video. I did. And Resident I love that Evil style Death of her Island character. Will release this summer. Is the animated movie or a series on Netflix again? Survival is just the beginning. Is... Resident Evil 4 launches soon. Yeah. Right, I know. I pre-ordered it. Quit showing me more, but I can't look away. I Hello bought this everyone. on GameCube back I'm in the day. Shiaki, bought the PS4 version. Of Resident okay. Evil 4. Here we are again. We're grateful for all of the RE4 fans who are excited for the game's release. I am. This game is a remake of the original, which was released in 2005. It is. It takes place six years after the Raccoon City incident and depicts federal agent Leon S. Kennedy as he fights to survive. Right. Our goal is to create a fresh yet familiar experience. We've preserved the core of the original game and added updated graphics and a reimagined storyline. Oh, did they? Look at these visuals. RE4 is just around the corner, but we have a special announcement prepared for you today. Demo per chance? Check out this video. Give me a demo. I 
Here we go. These guys don't quit. No time limit. You thank you. No fucking way. He said no fucking way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I am so happy. Jade saw what? A jade saw what? The wait is over. A trial version of Resident Evil 4 that we are calling Chainsaw. Thank you. Thank you. Starting today. Thank you. It takes place in the beginning of the game as Leon first enters a European village. The Chainsaw <sighs> demo has no time. I just want to get a feel for it as many times how it as you want. controls. The platform supported our PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, as well as Xbox Series X and Xbox uh... Series S and Steam. We hope you enjoy trying a portion of this oh. reimagined survival. Thank you, horror. kind sir. Resident Evil 4 is currently available for pre order. Done deal. Already did it. The standard edition and the deluxe edition include pre ordered mine from Best Buy. Dot com, sure by the way, because Am Amazon was junk. They were like, hey, well, you'll get your game like a month later. There's not long until the March 24th release. Amazon Prime Please enjoy fell off. The trial they were like April then. 6th or something. I was Thank like, get out of here with that. Best Buy was like same day delivery plus DLC and like a steel bookcase for free with the pre order. So, my advice pre order from Best Buy if you haven't done it already. That's the only time you'll hear me compliment Best Buy, by the way. And finally, we have a message about the Capcom publisher sale. The they Resident what? Evil series, with the exception of the upcoming Resident Evil 4, Got them all. and Monster Hunter Rise are currently on sale, and we will be opening the massive expansion Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak for pre-orders. Don't miss this opportunity to pick up digital copies of Capcom's hits. That's all for our event today. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. We look forward to sharing more about our latest titles through a future Capcom Spotlight or Capcom Showcase. Whatever we choose to call it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ah, matane. All right. There you have it, Capcom Spotlight for March 9th, 2023. Let's talk a little bit about what we saw, shall we? Well, that was okay overall. I mean, maybe below average. Really, the games that I sort of expected them to show were the games that I was most excited for, and that was Street Fighter VI and uh, Resident Evil. Uh, a little bit of new Resident Evil stuff. I I had never heard of that Dead Island before. I don't know if that's a movie or another series. Either way, my, my sort of response to it is, well, you saw it, very lukewarm because Honestly, that Resident Evil series, the animated one on Netflix, left a sour taste in my mouth. It was so boring. And I didn't even make it through like the second episode of the live action Resident Evil series. So, yeah, not super excited for that, but we'll see what it becomes, right? Uh, Resident Evil 4, it's a, it's a done deal. I pre-ordered it from Best Buy. I'm going to download the, uh, the demo. It's... PS5 is already on, right behind me. It's it. We're ready to go. Street Fighter 6, that's a pre-order. That's a day one for me. Even though they burned me on Street Fighter 5 with that horrible launch, it looks like they've learned their lesson and then some with 6. So that's a day one for me. Exo Primal, I couldn't care less about that. It just looks like a total snooze fest. It kind of looks like a, a Dynasty Warriors mixed with like Anthem and... None of that sounds good to me. And just the visuals, just watching it being played is not exciting at all. So, you know, who knows? It, it might be super fun to play, but I said what I said. Mega Man Battle Network, never played any of them. It's not my thing. Uh, that one detective game, Ghost Trick. It's interesting, it's unique, but probably won't check that out. And Monster Hunter is just not my thing either. So really just kind of, uh, below average spotlight but what i will say and what i'm happy about overall is that capcom is sort of back in a way that is exciting in the sense that they're making games again and 
to the point where they actually have spotlights and showcases to show off what they're doing. I feel like they used to be this huge powerhouse and then they became this company that was only known for a, a couple of titles in, in, in long running series. And that was sort of their staple. But now it, it just feels like they're getting more involved and putting out new IPs, even if they don't look that exciting, Exo Primal. But you love to see it anyway. I, I have loved Capcom for a long time. So let's see what uh, they have to offer in whatever the next showcase is. So feel free to leave a comment and let me know what what's exciting to you from Capcom. What are you looking forward to? Have you pre-ordered any of the games that they're talking about? I know my Resident Evil fans are out there somewhere. So let us share the hype. This, I, I cannot wait to play this demo ad nauseum. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours and you know the routine. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you for helping my small channel grow. Thank you for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one.